Hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, kitchen countertop family, okay? And uh, it's a casework type. Uh, we're going to make it with some controls so that you can turn the the ends into a corner so that you know they can meet together in a, in a corner of a room, which is kind of handy. And uh, we're going to keep it relatively, you know, relatively basic. Now I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can because it's been brought to my attention that my videos could be a bit long-winded. Thank you, Jay. All right, so file new family and metric uh where are we casework all right open now i want to be able to control a lot of this with instance parameters it's kind of the way you place a countertop it's the length of the room or whatever so i'm going to change some of the way this is set up in, in the template i'm going to delete that reference plane on the left i'll just change that one to the width i'm going to make that width parameter instance I'll just change it just give it some room there and over there what other bizarre things in the casework family that we need to change uh we have the origin line vertical here and it's locked but we don't have one by default for some reason in uh on the horizontal plane okay so i'm going to lock this guy over here i'm going to make that the origin line select that reference plane origin and i'm going to pin it okay perfect now i'm going to create two reference planes sorry reference lines off of the intersection of those reference lines Okay, this is going to be the corners of our, our uh, countertop. I'm going to use my align and lock to so lock selected. Select that reference plane and tab to the point at the end of the reference line. And this reference plane do the same thing and then do the same thing on the other side. It's constrained, each one is constrained to two. Okay, I go into dimension, uh, angular here and here. Escape, escape. I'm going to create some. Uh, parameters. So in my family types, I'm going to new parameter for, uh, let me see, give it a yes, no parameter for uh, corner A on. Okay, so corner A, uh, we make that yes, no, and others fine. Uh, make it instance. Okay, uh, new corner B, and make it uh, yes, no make it instance okay now we're going to need some controls for the tell what what angle to make it okay so we're going to say corner a ref and i'm going to make that uh angle instance i'm going to stick it down in uh, other as well with the other one okay just get them together okay and again same thing your parameter corner e ref instance and angle and other now putting in an other is just organizing it on the screen here okay that's not important and okay all right so uh corner a ref okay so that's equals right so if corner a is ticked we want it to have a corner if it's not we don't okay so so it's if open bracket corner a you don't have to add a value for that. If you just say corner A, that means if it's ticked, okay? Comma, uh, 45, comma, otherwise zero. So if corner A is ticked, 45 degrees, otherwise zero, okay? And do the same thing down here for corner B. So if, open brackets, corner B, comma, 45, comma, zero, close brackets, okay? And okay. Uh, anything else here we need? I'm going to put in a depth, a uh, thickness of the of the um, the countertop. Okay, so you can leave that as a type. Okay, the countertop is like 35 millimeters, 50 millimeters. Okay. Uh, so that it has the height of the floor already, and has the depth, which is from from the wall out, let's say, <clears throat> and the width, which you could probably more accurately call the length. But anyway, that's there, and all the other stuff. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to assign, select that uh, angle dimension. I'm going to assign corner A to this guy and corner B to this guy. Okay. All right. Now, what do we do? I'm going to create extrusion, uh, pick lines with the lock. So pick the reference line, reference, reference plane, reference line, reference plane, and trim the corners. 
So if obviously if that changes to zero, it'll pull this line into the vertical. Oops, made a mistake there. Etc. Okay. Now assign a material parameter. We don't have one, so new call it material or whatever you like. And I'm going to a front elevation. Okay, and pull your, you could use the align tool, but I'm gonna pull my little arrow, pull handle up to the reference line at the top, lock, pull this guy up. Uh, I could just dimension it and give it a parameter angle, but I'm gonna create the reference plane anyway, okay? So create reference plane, uh, align and lock to that reference plane. Perfect, and then I put that dimension onto it. Let's select the dimension plane, the dimension, and let's assign thickness. Perfect. All right, so 3D, there we have a countertop. Let's, hang on, let's pull that over the screen so you can see it. So if we turn off one corner, apply, see, turn off the other one, apply, perfect, okay. Uh, turn that back on, okay. Now, we're going to need to just maybe put a curve on the outside edge of that, okay? So, we're going to need a, a let's file and save this guy first. Save as family counter. Save. So, file, new profile. File, new family. A metric profile. Open. Just change the scale so it's easier to see. Uh, create reference plane underneath and to the left, oops, uh, horizontally, and to the left or right. Okay, I'm just going to do it to the left. Dimension here, dimension there. Shape, select the two dimensions, create a new parameter, call that radius. Sorry, I should have explained what I'm doing. You'll see it though now. Radius, create line. Pick line. I'm I'm making the the shape we're going to cut out of the, the counter. Okay, the little arc. Pick line. Pick line. Trim to corners. Uh, trim to reference plane. Create line. Start end radius arc. Start end radius. Uh, select that temporary dimension there. Escape and then select the dimension and assign the radius parameter, okay? Let's change that to 35, which is what we're, no, use 25. Okay, and I'll save that as a void, not void. Okay. Load it into the countertop family. And I'm going to, in 3D, create void forms, void sweep, pick path, select the top edge there, K. Uh, actually, no, I'll show you first, and then I'll, then I'll fix it. And then modify sweep, select profile, counter void. Now we already set the, the right radius that I want. Um, we, can give, we can give that a parameter down here as well, all that stuff if you want to. So select it, it's going the wrong way. I'm gonna flip it, okay. Tick, all right, and cut. And you see we have a problem there, it's not going, it's not treating the ends properly. So I'm going to select that void, edit sweep, go to the reference plane, reference level, sorry, uh, big path, and just extend it to the reference lines on the outside. Okay, and okay. So let's save that, load it into project and close. Uh, before I do, I'm going to give that that arc a parameter just in case you want to change it. Okay, so families, profiles, countertop void, select that guy there, uh, double click on it, radius, click on assign parameter, new void. Okay, 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 and now we can control that in there. Okay. Loading family, sorry, loading project closed. Want to save it? Of course, I do. And let's just have a quick place of this. So, 
because we chose the top left there, that kind of makes sense to me. Or oh, we should have put some uh, flip controls on it. We can do that. So uh, use the align to the wall edge, lock, align to the wall edge and lock. Now, because there's an instance parameter, I can just pull it or align to the wall edge, lock. See, it's very, very useful. Now, let's say I want to have a countertop here, but not here, okay? So I'm just going to create a new one. So I'll duplicate, create similar. Use my space bar to turn it around and align to the wall edge and lock, align to the wall edge. Again. Lock. All right, so you can see how that's working there, right? And align to the wall edge here. Like so. And I don't want that second corner. So I go down to my properties here. Instance, remember? Corner B. If it's the wrong one, just flip it and do the other one. Okay, and I want corner A turned off in this guy. Okay. All right. Now you could put more controls in this, and I have my own one, uh, where you can you can control it in the odd situation where you have a 60 degree angle or something. You can do all that. Uh, well, look at, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please let me know, give it a like, and Appreciate the comments and anybody who subscribes. Uh, have a good day. Let me know how you get on.